Hi, this is Bill from Tidal Town Drones, coming to you live from the Nerd Center. I thought that I would show you uh, how I have my remote controller set up uh, with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Um, this is the one equipped with the thermal camera. So um, what I've done is uh, I've pre-programmed some of the hot buttons in the remote controller to perform uh, particular functions. Um, this might be helpful or useful to you. Uh, if you're out in the field, it's maybe kind of cold out and you've got some gloves on. Instead of having to take your gloves off and touch the screen somewhere, uh, you can just hit one of these buttons on the back to, to switch between things. Uh, so the things that we're looking for or talking about here um, are these hot buttons on the back of the remote controller. And this is what I'm talking about here, the C1 and C2. So we can uh, program the function of those buttons to choose uh, what we want them to do. So the way I have mine set up right now is I can switch between the ground, it's called ground station and FPV, so that's my map view versus my live uh, camera view. Uh, the second one I have, I can switch between the uh, display modes. So um, on my camera, I can switch between the optical camera, uh, the infrared camera, and then infrared camera uh, overlaid with the optical called MSX. So that's that uh, feature that they've got that uh, gives you that little bit of extra uh, detail um, in, your, in your images. So let's kind of get back to square one here. Um, so here we are in the optical, or I'm sorry, the um, infrared view right now with the MSX enabled. So I'm going to depress this uh, a button on the back of the remote with my right index finger and then I can cycle through my uh, optical camera. And I press it again, now I've, I've just simply got my infrared image and if I press it again now MSX is enabled uh, which is using sort of the ambient light um, in the room to um, uh, overlay you know that, that image over to the um, thermal images. All right, uh, there's another button on here that's also very useful. This is uh, have a, a rocker switch here that can go up, down, left, and right. Um, and so you can program functionality into each, uh, each one of those movements. So uh, what I've done is uh, set mine up here to uh, move the camera up and down. If I move this, the stick up and down, my camera will um, move up and down. Uh, I can switch between the different color palettes and then I can also switch uh, the temperature modes. So let's have a look at, at how that works. Alright, so I'm going to start out first with the temperature modes. So this is the spot metering where we've got the, uh, um, the crosshairs there. Anywhere you touch on the screen, it's reading the uh, temperature of that particular pixel. And I think the, you know, like the television was on a little while ago, so that one's showing at uh, 80 degrees and so on. All right, so if I cycle through now, um, I've moved my rocker switch to the right, and that just simply turned off that feature. And now my third choice is this, uh, this area measurement. And so what it's doing is it's uh, taking uh, this box and it's reading the temperatures in this box. Uh, the maximum temperature in the box right now is 64.8 degrees, and the minimum temperature is 59.5. So you can see the red dot. Uh, indicates the hottest spot and the blue dot indicates the coldest spot within that rectangle and then I have my alarm set at 80 degrees Fahrenheit so anything that exceeds 80 degrees will that invades this triangle will trigger that alarm so I might use that if I was set up on a house and I wanted to see you know if somebody's poking their head out the window or or something like that so that's what it's going to sound like all right, so I'm going to cycle through using my uh, toggle switch to the right, and there, you know, I'm just cycling through the different options. So I'll just turn that off. Now I'm going to cycle through on the left, um, and now I'm choosing between the different color palettes. And um, depending on what kind of environment that you're in or uh, what you're actually looking for, different color palettes uh, work better in different situations. So um, the other day I was walking in the woods and I was trying to um, see how um, effective the camera would be at finding a person walking in the woods from roughly 125, 140 feet up in the air, somewhere in there. 
um, and I found, at least on that particular day, the most effective was this uh, this hot spot. Um, my body was uh, uh, creating this orange uh, glow in the particular spot uh, where it was. So um, you can use these other ones though. Um, maybe you're doing a, a roof inspection or some solar panels. Um, this color palette seems to work really well uh, with that. So it just depends on what you're doing, but here's another easy way just to cycle through those. So just a, just a quick tip on how to set up your remote controller. Uh, it's very handy and uh, it'll save you some trouble, especially on a cold day when you don't want to take your gloves off and start uh, touching your screen. So thanks for watching and uh, look forward to uh, more videos as I uh, discover more features of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Thanks.